Okay, so solving this triangle problem is easy when you do this. Now, of course, I'll tell you what this is in just one second, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have triangle ABC, specifically this is a right triangle, and uh, the side, this side right here, AC, is 3. Now, we're told that uh, if the sine of angle B, so this angle right here, so if the sine of angle B is equal to 3 fourths, what is the length of BC? All right, so again, this problem is easy, but you have to do this first. Now, if you can figure this out, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so uh, some of you might feel like, well, do I need a calculator to solve this problem? Actually, you do not. So uh, I'm going to really suggest that you do not use your calculator. All right, so real quick again, we have this lovely uh, right triangle. AC, the side right here, is 3. We have angle B. We know that the sine of angle B is 3 fourths. What we're looking for is the distance of uh, BC. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is BC is equal to the square root of 7. All right, now, if you got this right, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in trigonometric ratios and the Pythagorean theorem. Now, if you tell your friends and family that, they'll be like, yeah, that's a little bit boring. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really interested in that. I want to kind of stick with my Netflix. But in all seriousness, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Now, if you are a little bit lost, don't worry. This is not that difficult. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so first things first, we have this lovely right triangle. So you need to know a thing or two about right triangles. And the first thing that should come to mind is, first of all, let's just review. What is a right triangle? Well, it's a triangle where this angle right here, or one of the angles, is 90 degrees. Now, anytime you're dealing with a right triangle in geometry or trigonometry, the very first thing that should pop uh, into your brain is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now, we're going to need this, but uh, uh, we can't use this right now because in order to solve a triangle problem, a right triangle problem, using the Pythagorean theorem, we need uh, two sides out of the three sides. So in other words, it's not enough just to have one length here. That's one variable. We have three variables here. We're going to need two out of the three to find the missing side because what we're looking to do here is find this side. Now, if I'm trying to figure out what BC is equal to and I have AC, well, maybe we need to get this side right here. So if I had this length, I already have this length, well, then we can easily figure out what BC is equal to. And in fact, this is exactly what we're going to be doing in this problem. But uh, we can't uh, figure out what this side is right here unless we know a thing or two about basic trigonometry right? and uh, specifically trigonometric ratios, i.e. what sine, cosine, and tangent uh, represent. And again, I just said that these are called trigonometric ratios, right? So I'm using this word ratios, and that implies fractions. All right, so hopefully you know by uh, what the definition uh, sine, cosine, and tangent are. This is kind of stuff that you learn in basic uh, geometry. And of course, you need to understand this uh, for trigonometry. But if you don't know what sine, cosine, and tangent is, well, I'm going to explain this right now. And by the way, if you were ever curious what these buttons are on your scientific calculator, sine, cosine, and tangent, well, it's this stuff that we're talking about right here. All right, so what is this thing that we have to do in order to make this problem easy? Well, we need to understand uh, what this uh, means right here. Sine of angle B is equal to 3 over 4, all right? So what do we need to do? Well, let me go ahead and show you this right now. We need to reconstruct 
a lovely right triangle. And this is what you should do. Now, if you do this, this is going to make solving this problem very easy. So let's uh, talk about angle B. Well, angle B is right here. Now, uh, in terms of, of uh, angle B, we have three sides that we need to kind of think about uh, when we are thinking about trigonometric ratios, i.e. sine, cosine, and tangent. And those sides are the opposite adjacent and the hypotenuse. Let's go and start with the hypotenuse. So we are talking about a uh, right triangle. So the longest side of a right triangle is always the, hypo uh, the hypotenuse. Excuse me, I always mispronounce that. It's opposite of the right angle. Okay, so here's the right angle. It's always going to be opposite of that, but, you know, it's easy, uh, easy to identify. It's the longest leg of the right triangle. So this is the hypotenuse. Now, the opposite and the adjacent side, you got to be very careful here because we are talking about angle B. So here's angle B. The opposite uh, side in terms of angle B is this leg right here. Okay, so this side of the right triangle is opposite from angle B. The adjacent side is right next to angle B. So adjacent means next to. So here's angle B. This side right here is the adjacent. This side right here is the opposite. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify where your opposite, your adjacent, and your hypotenuse is. And once you have this kind of uh, basic diagram uh, written out or sketched out, well, solving this problem becomes uh, pretty easy, right? It's not going to be that difficult. All right, but uh, this is the first step. And, of course, you need to know a thing about sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, if you don't understand what these things are, you know, if you do this thing first, it's not going to uh, help you out. So let's go ahead and review what sine, cosine, and tangent are. So we have this lovely little phrase here, a little mnemonic that can help us out. So katoa, right? So katoa. I love teaching this in basic geometry and trigonometry, and there's probably other phrases here. But the, this little phrase right here will um, tell you, or you know, basically you'll remember the proper trigonometric ratios. All right, so let's just quickly review this. So let's talk about so. All right, so we have this little phrase, so katoa. So so is how we remember what sine is. So the sine of an angle, the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Again, so katoa. So going back to our figure right here, uh, we can just kind of look at this and be like, all right, we have our so our ka and our toa, all right? So we have O and A, A and H. So we need to know what sides are A, what side is A, what side is O, what side is H. So by listing this out, this is going to make uh, doing, doing this problem very easy. And this is the first thing you want to do. Now let's go ahead and apply this to solve this uh, triangle problem. Okay, so we're told that the sine of angle B right here is three-fourths. Okay, but we have some information. We know that the opposite is three. Okay, so here's angle B. The opposite is this side right here, but we know the length of that. It's B. We don't know the hypotenuse, and we don't know uh, the adjacent. Matter of fact, this is what we're looking to solve for, B, C, but we do know that this side, the opposite, is three. But we're told that the sine of angle B is three-fourths. So the sine of this angle, B, is equal to what? It's so. Remember, so, that's our lovely little acronym here. Uh, so that's the opposite over the hypotenuse. Well, the opposite of angle B right here is 3, right? So we have that information. And uh, what we don't have is a hypotenuse, right? So you're looking at this figure like, we don't have the hypotenuse, Mr. YouTube Math Man. But indeed we do because we're told that the sine of this angle B is 3 over 4. Okay, so the denominator here is 4. That means the hypotenuse is, in fact, 4. So the, if the hypotenuse is 4, well, now we have two sides of this right triangle. It's pretty easy to solve for this third side. Okay, so how are we going to solve for this third side? I gave you a big clue at the beginning of this video. Uh, now, if you're like, uh, is it going to use the Pythagorean theorem? Well, indeed, you would be correct. Okay, so let's go to take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we go ahead and finish up this problem. Now, I wouldn't stop 
and uh, you know interrupt this lovely math video if I didn't need your help, okay? I need your help to help other people. Well, of course, hopefully I'm helping you as well, but uh, the best way to support what I do is to hit that subscribe button, and if you're gonna do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, uh, just so you know, uh, excuse me, just so you know, uh, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have, oh, I, got, I think I'm going on pretty close to 3,000 uh, videos if I'm not already there yet. I don't really pay attention too much to these metrics, but I do pay attention to posting math videos every single day uh, from basic math to advanced math by calculus and everything in between. So if you are having a tough time in mathematics, well, you probably uh, could stand some great full instructional review. If you're trying to improve in math by quick little tutorials, that's not really a good strategy. So check out my full main math courses. Uh, what we're talking about here is stuff that I would teach in like my geometry course, or maybe obviously in my pre-calculus course. So I'll leave links to both of those courses in the description. Now let's go ahead and finish this problem up. All right, now this type of problem is a very typical type of problem that you will see in geometry uh, and trigonometry. So the question is, what is BC? All right, well, this is gonna be pretty easy to solve because we already were given this side of this uh, right triangle, which is three. We figured out that the hypotenuse based upon the sine of angle B is four. So we can easily solve for this side using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So C is always the hypotenuse, okay? A and B can be um, either sides of this right triangle. So let's go ahead and have three B A squared, okay, plus, and we'll let this X represent B squared. We already know that C is four, so that'll be our C squared. So let's go ahead and plug in the value. So three squared is nine. Nine plus X squared is equal to four squared, which of course is 16. So we'll subtract nine from both sides of the equation. We get X squared is equal to seven. And now we'll go ahead and take the square root of both sides. So X is equal to positive and negative square root is seven because this is a quadratic equation, but uh, we can kind of disregard that negative value because we're talking about distance, which is positive. Okay, so the length of BC is equal to the square root of seven. All right, now kind of going back to the title of this little video here, I said it's easy when you do this. So what is this again? Well, you need to really understand these trigonometric ratios. What is the opposite side? What, what is the adjacent side? What is the hypotenuse? And the first thing you should do when you have these kind of triangle problems is just quickly identify, okay, this is the adjacent, this is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse, and then just kind of you know, work with the information you have to kind of you know, start getting you know, the information that you need to solve the problem. All right, so hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.